Raquel from the blog Out of the Past and I'm here with another classic film haul. Now these are the things that I've acquired in the past couple of months since I did the last classic film haul which I'll link down below if you'd like to watch. Some of these items you can purchase and for those I'll have links down below and some are not available to purchase. But I thought I'd just show you the whole scope of what I got. So keep watching. So first up are some new releases from Kino Lorber who has been killing it this year with some great stuff, including this, which is Pioneer's First Women Filmmakers Blu-ray set. I have a full rundown and review on my blog, and I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out, but this one has so many wonderful movies directed by women or at least written and produced by them from the silent era. Now this was way back when um, films weren't taken seriously as an art form and women and minorities, the set that came before this was African American filmmakers. Um, so there was a lot of leeway for women to direct their own films, which they did, and they came out with some really great stories. Now this has a huge scope and each um, of the, this is a six Blu-ray set and it comes with this little informational booklet, which is very interesting, it was a good read, and six Blu-rays, each of them on a theme of different types of movies and different directors. It has the whole scope, including one of my favorites, Nell Shipman. And um, if you get the DVD set, which is also available, it does not have all the content that the Blu-ray set does. So I do encourage you to get the Blu-ray set if you're interested. This is Feminist Film History in a Box. It is absolutely an achievement and it just looks great. It's great to own. It was um, so um, informational with all the documentaries that are included to kind of give you context and information about the movies you're about to see. I highly recommend getting this. And next up from Kino Lorber are some November releases, including Lisbon from 1956, starring Ray Milland, and also directed by Ray Milland and produced by Ray Milland, um, and Maureen O'Hara. And this is about um, a professional smuggler who gets caught up in this like dirty dealing with Claude Rains and Maureen O'Hara, who starts off good, but then decides that she likes money more than her um, much older husband. So this was, I have a review up on my blog, this was okay, but worth it because the Blu-ray looks stunning. And also to see a glimpse of 1950s Lisbon. I've been to Lisbon, my father was from Portugal, so it's kind of really nice to see um, the on-location shooting of Portugal mid 20th century. And next up I have Nothing Sacred, which is also a November release. This is a William Wellman screwball comedy starring Carol Lombard and Frederick March. Everyone I know has seen this except for myself. So I need to get to watching this. I'll have a review up on my blog. And this is about a woman who um, is lying about her terminal state in order to get a free trip to the city. And um, Frederick March plays a newspaper journalist who is trying to exploit her story. That's all I know very much about this. So I'm excited to watch it and see what all the fuss is about. And for December releases from Kino Lober, I have The Last Command, starring Sterling Hayden and Ernest Bornine. I don't know much about this movie other than the fact that it's about the Texas War of Independence of the 1830s, and I love Sterling Hayden and Ernest Bornine. So just seeing their names, I was like, okay, I've never heard of this movie. I love both of them. I am watching this. So I love that the fact that the Kino Lober releases, especially this year and last year, have really expanded my knowledge of classic movies and got me to try different things. So I'm excited to watch this one. And also um, releasing this month from Kino Lober was Black Windmill, The Black Windmill, that is, um, with Michael Caine. I recently saw Get Carter from 1971, and that was such a great kind of gritty um, revenge movie. And this movie, in this movie, Michael Caine is a um, secret agent whose son is kidnapped and he's trying to rescue him, um, but there's a ransom and then everything starts to get more complicated. That's all I know. It's directed by Don Siegel, who is quickly becoming one of my favorite directors. I love his work and I absolutely adore Michael Caine. And this is a thriller I haven't seen yet. I'm excited to watch it and review it. 
And new from Universal on Blu-ray is Strange Bedfellows from 1965, starring two of my favorite people ever, Gina Lollobrigida and Rock Hudson. In fact, when I interviewed Gina Lollobrigida at the TCM Classic Film Festival a couple years ago, I asked her what her favorite movies were to work on, and she brought up Rock Hudson and the two movies they made together, this one and Come September. And um, I, it's been a few years since I've seen this one, and I always get the plots mixed up with Come September, but this one is about a um, PR agent who is trying to save his public image, so he tries to get back together with his estranged wife, who is currently working on her second marriage, and he kind of throws everything, um, throws like a wrench in the works there, and they, I think, fall in love again. Um, as I said, it's been a while since I've seen it, so it's gonna be good to go back to this and kind of separate this from the plot of Come September. These two are so great together, and I'm just so excited to see this. It's available at my Movie Zing store, which I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in picking it up. And next up is new DVDs from the Warner Archive collection, including this one, Hideout from 1934, starring Robert Montgomery and Maureen O'Sullivan, and also featuring a very young Mickey Rooney. This is one of my favorite movies from the 1930s. It's such a sweet little comedy about this playboy city slicker who um, gets in trouble with the law, he gets injured, he's on the lam, and then he hides out with this um, family in the countryside on this farm and he's like desperate to get back to the city but then he starts to fall in love with kind of this simple life. Um, it's just like a really sweet movie and I was just so excited to see it on DVD because I had seen it on TCM years ago and it had been a while and I didn't have a copy of it so when it was released on DVD I was like I need to get my hands on that. So if you have not seen this yet you have to. Um, I'll have a full review on my blog very soon, but sweet comedy. You can't go wrong with Robert Montgomery. And also a new release from the Warner Archive collection is Wallflower. Um, this has never been on DVD, much like Hideout, and I have reviewed this. This is a sweet little comedy that kind of escalates into like the, the the most wackiest screwball comedy you've ever seen. It stars Robert Hutton and Joyce Reynolds and Janice Page, and both Joyce Reynolds and Janice Page are still alive, which is kind of crazy for a movie from the 1940s. And they're college sisters who are kind of into the same guy, but they don't take it out on each other. And um, Joyce Reynolds is the wallflower, and Janice Page is the kind of like sultry, like extroverted, very sexy sister who gets the attention from all the guys. Um, so it's it's a cute little movie. Um, I recommend it if you like 1940s fluff. And moving on from DVDs and Blu-rays, I have some other goodies to share, including this gift from Jessica from Comet Over Hollywood. She gave me this for Christmas. It's a very sweet gift. It's this um, April 1948 edition of Photoplay. And the reason she got this for me is because she knows that I'm obsessed with Susan Peters, an actress from the 40s. And it includes this spread, which is a little article about her life um, after her accident, where she, um, it was an unfortunate hunting accident where she was shot in the back um, by her own rifle and uh, was paralyzed from the waist down. So this is a picture I had never seen, actually, of her and her husband, Richard Quine, and their son, Timothy. And I love these old magazines. I'm always so um, careful about purchasing them because I always feel like I'm going to destroy them, but they always have like such great articles and I love the ads in them. I love to see what... Um, what they wrote. Oh look, there's something about Robert Mitchum. Ah! <laughs> That's so awesome. I've seen the ads and the articles, but I'm always like they're always so delicate too. This is from the 1940s. Can you believe it? So I'm gonna take very good care of that. And thank you so much to Jessica for the thoughtful gift. And next up was this really generous gift from Turner Classic Movies. They sent me a couple items and I just want to send a shout out to them. And First up is this beautiful scarf, just absolutely gorgeous. 
and it's like vintage style. It has all these little characters on it. it has like um, a cameraman, a couple kissing, um, a cowboy, pinup girl, a radio announcer, all sorts of things. And along with that, they sent me this pin set, which has got like a Vespa, a plane, and a car, and each has TCM on it. So thank you so much to TCM. These are really nice items. And next up is a t-shirt from Olive Films. And they've been killing it with the releases this year. Lots of um, great things from their signature edition line, um, including the Invasion of the Body Snatchers, which if you haven't seen that one, it's a beautiful Blu-ray set packed with extras. Um, so they've been, they've had lots of really great releases this year. And I would be so proud to wear this t-shirt, especially working out and to show off my movie love. And as a lot of you know, I work with DVD Netflix. I'm one of their contributors to their blog and I create content for them. I'm a DVD director. And I've been very lucky that they've sent me a lot of really cool 20th anniversary swag. And if you want to um, win some of their swag, make sure you follow them on Twitter and Instagram and Facebook because they do host giveaways on there. And for the holidays, they sent me two really fun items, including these pajama pants. These are so cool. They're very long, they're very soft. You can't even get the whole thing in the video. <laughs> and they have little Netflix sleeves on them. I thought that was really cute. And he also got me this pillow, which is in the shape of their famous red envelope. It's so cute and it's so squishy. <laughs> well, thank you for DVD Netflix to, for these. These are so awesome. Now what would a classic film haul be without some film books? And I have um, a few to share, including a couple I got from the Harvard Bookstore Warehouse Sale. My husband and I go to the sale a couple times a year, so basically they open up their warehouse and they have all of their overstock books out on stacks and they, they're already discounted books but then they add an extra discount to them. They usually don't have film books because film books don't get overstocked as much as other books do but I was able to find two really good ones in here. So I'll grab out of the bag. The first one is Notes on the Cinematograph. Um, I hope I'm saying that right, by Robert Bresson, the um, French filmmaker. And this is basically little quotes um, and ideas about the filmmaking process. And one of my goals for 2019 is to learn more about what goes into cinematography and the actual filmmaking process beyond the director, beyond the actors and the actresses. So um, I think this is going to be like a light fun read but also informational and then I saw this on the on one of the stacks and this immediately reminded me of Harold and Lillian a Hollywood love story which is the best documentary if you haven't seen it it's streaming on Netflix right now and it's also available to um, purchase on blu-ray and DVD from Kino Lorber and when I saw this on the table um, I immediately spotted this, which is Harold Michelson's storyboard from Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, and Lillian Michelson, so basically Harold Michelson was a storyboard artist, and Lillian Michelson, his wife, was a film researcher, and they both worked on this film. So I saw this, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have this book. So it is Movie Storyboards, The Art of Visualizing Screenplays by Fionuala. Um, Halligan, I hope I said that correctly. So basically this this book goes from 1939 starting with Gone with the Wind um, all the way through to 2014 and in chronological order it shows um, how storyboards um, were used. It's in beautiful color too, so you get all the detail. And it shows you how the storyboards were part of the process of making these films. And a lot of people don't realize how important storyboard artists are to the filmmaking process to help the director and the cinematographer envision how the scene is going to be played out when they go to film it. 
So this is amazing. Oh, and look, it says Harold Michelson on here. Oh, that's so great. So I'm super excited for this. Um, and I'll have a review on my blog. And again, shout out to Daniel Rams, amazing documentary, Harold and Michael Michelson, sorry, Harold and Lillian, um, a Hollywood love story, which is streaming on Netflix right now. And one more book, it is Mary Wicks. I know I've seen that face before by Steve Taravella. Um, Steve Taravella, the author, it put out a call on social media saying, hey, if you want to get my book, for the holidays, for a gift for somebody, I'll sign it and send it to you um, at a flat cost. And I was like, oh, that's great, but I don't want to give it to anybody, I just want it for myself. <laughs> so I ordered it, and he signed it, right there. And I love Mary Wicks, she was a great character actress who worked through the 30s and 40s up until the 90s when she passed away. And uh, she was in um, Little Women from 1994, that's how I was introduced to her. But I love seeing all of um, her performances, but I don't know much about her, so I'm super excited to read this. That's it for my classic film haul, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching! As my New Year's gift to you, I'm hosting a giveaway for my favorite movie of all time, Bachelor Mother from 1939. Um, I always get extra copies of this movie to give away to friends, but now I'm going to give a couple away to you guys. Um, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is one, you have to be subscribed to this channel, and two, you have to answer one of the, two, the following two prompts. One is, why do you want to win a copy of Bachelor Mother? Tell me why you love this movie, why, um, why it interests you to win a copy. If you're not familiar with the movie, you can answer my second prompt, which is, what are your movie goals for 2019? It could be to watch more pre-codes, to watch more film noir, to watch a film director who you're not very familiar with, to watch more movies directed by women. For me, it's to watch 10 films from my birth year. Um, so I'm going to work on a list and challenge myself to watch 10 movies I had never seen before from the year I was born. That would be a fun challenge. So let me know. Um, make sure you subscribe. Let, and answer one of the two prompts, why you want to win Bachelor Mother, or what is your movie um, goal, movie watching goal for 2019. Good luck!